Good day, and welcome to Hiroshima University's English Podcast. Help! I need somebody. Help! Not just anybody. Help! You know I need someone. Help! Joe, why are you singing the Beatles? I'm singing the Beatles because today we're talking about the most famous British music group ever. We're talking about one of the most famous music groups in the world ever. We're talking about the Beatles. 皆さんこんにちは。第六弾のイギリス冒険へようこそ。今回は皆さんもご存知かと思いますが。ビートルスは20世紀を代表していたと言っても過言ではないくらい人気だったイギリスのロックバンドです。皆さんテレビや映画でビートルズの音楽は一度は絶対に聞いたことがあるはずです。そしてダイアログにはビートルズの他にもアビーロードというものが取り上げられています。このロードはロンドンにある横断歩道で先ほどのビートルスがその横断歩道を渡っている写真をアルバムカバーとアルバム名にしたことで有名なサイトになりました。Right, so we're talking about Abbey Road here, and it was an album in 1969.It had, for example, the song, Come together right now over me. You might, some of you might not know that, but anyways,、yes. it's a place name in London, right?、Yes. Abbey Road. そしてビートルスは日本語ではビートルスと言うんですけど英語ではビートルスじゃなくて The Beatles というようにしましょう。Right, everybody always do that. The Beatles. Yes. yes. そして今回のダイアログは太郎が目的地に着くものの戸惑うことから始まります。これはただの道だよと太郎が戸惑いながら言います。ただのとか特に意味のないというのは random です。なのでここでは random street は要するにただの道という意味になります。That's right. So random means not in order, kind of usually.、Yes. For example, one, eight, two, twenty. These are random numbers, right? Yes. And here in the dialogue, Taro says he's on some random street, so it's just any street, no order to it. そしてハギスを全部食べきるほどの価値はなかったよと Taro が不満を垂れます。ハギスは前回のダイアログでも説明しましたが、イギリスの料理で羊の内臓を羊の胃袋に詰めて茹でたスコットランドの伝統料理となっています。それを食べきるほどの価値はなかったという表現なので、to not be worth doing something は何々するほどの価値がないという表現です。Right. So Taro says it was not worth eating the whole haggis and because he just found this random street that he received as a reward kind、yes. of like that. I think nothing is worth、um, eating haggis. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Perlene,、uh, it's very difficult to learn English, right? Do you、yes. think English is worth studying? <laughs> of course. <laughs> If I say it's not worth studying, then I don't think anyone would want to listen to the English podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yes. English is worth studying, everyone. You can say of that. Of course. <laughs> そして、Lucy が、でもここは有名なスポットだよ。見渡してみてというので、タローは、えー、でも普通の地域にしか見えないよと返事します。でもというのは、though です。Right, and though is almost always at the end of a sentence.、Yes. And it's very natural, very natural. Better than but, better than however. Joe, can you give us some examples? Sure. For example, I like ice cream. I don't like vegetables, though. <laughs> That does not sound so healthy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's only an example, okay?、Oh, okay. Actually, I love vegetables, okay? okay? <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> And to give one more example, I've gone to Kyoto. I haven't gone to South Africa, though.、Mm. Right, everybody notice how though is at the end of a sentence. Try to make your own example sentences like this, and then your English conversation will sound even more natural. It's better、mm. than however or but. そしてタラはその道がただの道ではなく、アイビリーロードだったことに気がつき興奮します。Lucy は太郎にここで写真撮りたいと太郎に聞きます。Joe, how does Taro answer Lucy? He says, No, I'm good. 
Yes. I'm good っていうのは大丈夫っていう意味で、相手の申し出をカジュアルに断るときによく口にするフレーズです。Right, it's like no thank you. It's the same, no thank you. But young people say this a lot. And、yeah. also, it's kind of a new word, I think. When I was young, a long time ago, half a century ago, I think people didn't really use, oh, I'm good,、mm -hmm. meaning no thank you. But these days,、uh, young people say it a lot. So you can use it with your friends, no problem. And you hear it in the movies a lot. Yes, it's a very casual way to say it, right? That's right. No thank you is a little bit more polite. And you can use it with older people even better. なんでもかんでも further がつけられるわけではありません。例えば、can I have further ice cream? というのは変な expression です。<笑>で、距離や空間、時間にしか使えない表現なので、みんな使うときは気をつけて使ってください。Right. Further, farther, it's the same. For example, I live further from school than my friend, like that. Or farther from school than my friend, like that. And in the dialogue, Taro wants to go further out of the city because he hasn't really gone out of the city yet. Yes. Taro は次のヒントを Lucy に教えてもらい写真を撮ってくれる人を探します。すみません、私の写真を撮ってもらってもいいですかと通りがかりの人に丁寧に Taro は呼びかけます。ここでは、Do you mind? 何々をしてもらってもいいですかという丁寧な表現を使います。申し出を OK するときは、いいえ、気にしませんよ、と答えないといけないので、OK のときは、No, I don't mind と答えることをセットで覚えておきましょう。うん、yes, that's very important. So this is a polite way to ask for something. For example,、uh, do you mind helping me? Or, would you mind, it's the same, would you mind looking at my paper like that?、Yes. And the answer is, yes. That means I will do it. It's like、yes. that. A little difficult because different from Japanese, right? <laughs> yes. So, let's talk about shadowing. Let's talk about shadowing. Let's talk about shadowing. Hi, Lucy. I'm at the location you sent me to. But there's Nothing here. Just a random street. This was not worth eating. The whole haggis. Really, Taro? Maybe you should think harder. Look around. It's really a famous spot. Um, okay. It looks like a regular neighborhood, though. What's the street? Cold, though. Oh, it's Abbey Road. I had no idea. That's funny. It looks just like any other street. I was surprised. You didn't notice. Now that I know, I realize there are quite a lot of tourists taking pictures. 
Do you want to get one too? No, I'm good. Taro, I know you're lying. You want to take a picture like the Beatles. But I can't. Imagine how stupid I'd look doing a selfie. Come on. It'll be okay. Just ask someone to take your picture. It'll be sad if you don't have anything to remember it by. Ah. Uh. Okay, then. Oh, but wait. Before you go, your next clue. Oh, right. I hope the next place is outside London. I want to go. Further out. Great then. Your next location is in Wiltshire, and it rocks. Now, have fun getting your album cover. Okay, then. Excuse me. Do you mind taking my picture? Yes. Yes, it's just me. I know. Embarrassing. But Hi, Lucy. I'm at the location you sent me to, but there's nothing here. Just a random street. This was not worth eating that whole haggis. Really, Taro? Maybe you should think harder. Look around. It's really a famous spot. Um, okay. It looks like a regular neighborhood, though. What's the street called, though? Oh, it's Abbey Road. I had no idea. That's so funny. It looks just like any other street. I was surprised you didn't notice. Now that I know, I realize there are quite a lot of tourists taking pictures. Do you want to get one too? No, I'm good. Taro, I know you're lying. You want to take a picture like the Beatles. But I can't. Imagine how stupid I look doing a selfie. Come on, it'll be okay. Just ask someone to take your picture. It'll be sad if you don't have anything to remember it by. Uh, okay then. Oh, but wait! Before you go, your next clue. Oh, right. I hope the next place is outside London. I want to go further out. Great then. Your next location is in Wiltshire. And it rocks. Now, have fun getting your album cover. Okay then. Excuse me. Do you mind taking my picture? Yes. 
Yes, it's just me. I know. Embarrassing, but. Joe, what was the clue that Lucy gave to Taro? The clue was that he should go to Wiltshire, and it rocks. Yes. Mm, what does that mean, Wiltshire and rocks? What is all this here? Let's find out next time at Hiroshima University's English podcast. Everyone, see you next time. See you. Bye.